Now that we're already on the subject of GABA, um, can you talk a little more about kind of GABA's function in the brain? Uh, and then we can talk about kind of GABA brain food and, and how to actually enhance that in a way that's going to, to actually increase levels of, uh, of GABA in the brain, which I know there's a, kind of an issue with when it comes to just taking an over, over-the-counter GABA supplement alone. Right. So the idea with GABA brain food is that, uh, well, uh, well, GABA generally is, uh, GABA is the inhibitory neurotransmitter. It acts to slow down impulses in the brain. And it, um, the opposite of that is glutamate, which uh, increases, uh, active, um, increases stimulation in the brain. And so there's a, a, a balance between them. And you know, excess glutamate is associated with anxiety and um, just uh, irritability and so forth. And GABA counteracts that. It, uh, uh, subjectively, for me, it feels kind of like a mental shock absorber. Uh, it helps with social interaction. It helps with doing things that are normally frustrating. Um, and the uh, so and, and you know uh, GABA you have to be careful with it though because uh, GABA receptors they don't like to be stimulated um, when uh, with uh, synthetic substances they uh, they get a little uh, they tend to downregulate and you have problems with uh, you know all kinds of problems with like withdrawal and addiction and stuff like that um, for instance. Um, you know, uh, yeah, a lot of GABA receptor agonists are like drugs of abuse, like, um, uh, ben, you know, uh, well, or, or just drugs that have problems like benzos and uh, tranquilizers and alcohol and all that stuff. So, you know, so it's, it's, I always think like, okay, what's the, the most natural beneficial way that, you know, we can interact with GABA and that's just to use the natural uh, endogenous GABA uh, agonist, which is, you know, GABA. So, <laughs> but the problem with GABA is that um, it has, it does not easily cross the blood brain barrier. Um, so uh, in my research of uh, GABA in, in the body and so forth, um, I discovered that there were some studies that said that nitric oxide uh, helps GABA across the blood brain barrier. So what I did was I um, added nitric oxide uh, in increasing uh, ingredients like citrulline uh, and uh, grapeseed extract to GABA. And uh, I, um, you know, and then I self-experimented with it and found out that, you know, it had a, a better calming effect than just regular GABA. Um, so that was that was the theory behind GABA brain food. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, you know, so there basically, you know, I'll, when I go in and develop a supplement stack, I won't just look at single ingredients. I'll, I'll look at, okay, you know, how is this, how is GABA metabolized? Also, GABA transaminase uh, inhibitors. GABA transaminase breaks down GABA into glutamate. And so if you slow that process down, that increases the amount of GABA in the brain. Like, you know, and, and that's natural supplements like lemon balm and, uh, you know, that contain rosmarinic acid. Um, so uh, there's a, uh, so th those were the, 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 the components that I put together in GABA brain food. <laughs> yourself, can you?